Hey boys, it's me. I'm firing up my game again. Uh, I'll show you what I've been working on. I've just really been doing a lot of scrapping around with the art and a lot of thinking. Actually, I really want to turn turn the collision boxes off here. I should get some kind of in-game debug menu going, but nah. I'll go to my file here. I'm saved just outside the cliffs. So you can see it looks quite a bit different. If you run this video right after the last video, I'll go into the dungeon. So you can see that as I'm very close to the bottom of the whole map, the camera has refused to scroll down to outside of the map data. We'd only be seeing the background data because each map has, it's got its foreground data. That's where most of the interesting stuff is. And then I had like a bigger background that would repeat uh, a given tile. Not many controls available for that background to make that background kind of obsolete. What I'm trying out here is restricting the camera so that they can't actually view outside the bounds of the map data here. And so you get a more kind of natural look here. And it kind of doesn't look like as like if I was here and the camera was unrestricted, you could see there'd be just endless repeating tiles of whatever it is. Uh, and I was struggling a bit with that to try and make it look good and trying to justify not having a system like this, you know. Uh, I also got the walking out working, so I can go to this bottom here, but as soon as I take a step out, I actually do take the step out, then the game throttles there a bit to load up the world map, because the world map is, this is a very large map, you know, I don't want to show the whole map because I want to start keeping my secrets, you know, but it is a very, very large map. Uh, and it takes a good while for it to read the map data in from the little sprite files. And that is the bulk of what uses the time after it's read the data in, spawning the objects and then spawning the collision on top of that or like fixing the, the graphics and stuff up. All of that, uh, very, very quick. Most of the time is spent reading those little sprite files uh, to know which tiles go where. But you can see that the overworld, it looks very different. I've, I'm kind of trying some other stylistic choices here. I was, the forests were giving me a mega headache. Even when I got a lot of that clipping stuff working, uh, a lot of the framing working so that the forest would clump up and look nice. Kind of like my shoreline does here. See that uses some, some fanciness to automatically do that. Uh, it looks very nice. I couldn't get it to work for the forest. It just never looked great. One of the struggles I'm having is that we're so zoomed out in this overworld view, which is a kind of cool contrast from when we're in the dungeons, right? But it made it very hard to make anything seem like a vast forest. It just, it still just looked very flat. These black outlines on the things that I had just aren't working very well because there's so little room 8x8 to, to put an outline around everything. It just doesn't look good. So I've, you see, you can see most of the stuff doesn't have a black outline anymore. If I go with this style, I'd likely adjust the houses here and the dungeon here to follow suit. And it just might be a completely different style from what's actually on the inside here. So if I go into this town, which is also kind of new, and you can see our style on the right here, and the camera hasn't completely centered on us. Uh, but as I you know, walk around, the camera respects those rules. This is a small town I've been mocking up as well. Yeah, you can see most of this I'm using like a black outlines to have the characters and stuff and the trees and the flowers pop out against everything else. But in the overworld, following that kind of style is just not working very well. So I'm trying something different here and I've removed all of the intelligent framing and I've just got this one tree image that repeats. It's like a very lo-fi representative kind of version of a world map and I think it could have its charm if I do it a bit well. Yeah, I haven't thought much about the colors as well. Yeah, I think I want more interesting and varied grounds because uh, it's like all this flat green. As I approach this mountainy region up here, it'd be great if the the green grass started to taper up into like a, a brown kind of rocky surface. I think that'd be great. And you can see that I've had an easier time getting these kind of composite little mountain formations happening without the black outlines. These mountains here, like these two and this, that's what they look individually, kind of like the trees. A few levels of shading there because I want to make it feel like there's height to it. I could probably do more like in this great expanse, maybe I'd have some individual big peaks 
drawing as well to give it that illusion of height but yeah you can see if there's four of these in a group here then they it essentially just draws like one in the middle of them and it kind of looks like it's a bit more busy it's a bit clumped up uh, I've removed the black outline from the roads as well and stuff yeah so I've just been playing around with a lot of art you could see in that village all of that was like new art I've been playing with I wanted to have a nice little foresty village here these are these colors are much brighter than the colors I've been using uh, the water does not stand out very well at all against that it looks extremely busy right now uh, with the first town I had like very basic green tiles with almost nothing in them and then I had a few like flowery alternates for this village currently the like base green tile has these like yellow flowers everywhere and being absolutely everywhere it's like pretty blinding you know this this brown on the ground's hurting my eyes quite a bit yeah I meant to have these scrappy tiles in here but mm, I don't know a lot of stuff I don't like I like these trees these are my original trees uh, if I bring up my tile I was playing around in something like this I thought maybe instead of these individual dirt things I could have maybe apply some tiling rules and have some nice paths but I think that's not a road I really want to go down so uh, I would like to keep for at least for the normal what I'm calling the dungeon view which is not the overworld view and not the battle view uh, I want to use more traditional methods and if I do use some tiling like I am with the trees here and you can see these are the trees I was inspired by I had a go at doing my own and I think they turned out alright uh, I used an extra darker green here to help me a little bit I, I want to try and avoid super complex rules like that but we'll see how we go yeah I feel like my thoughts are just all over the place right now uh, coming into making this video so I guess in two days I'll just come back at you with more thoughts but yeah this is a lot of art stuff I've been working on I've been really thinking about getting the first kind of tutorial slash prologue section of the game you know what stories going to happen and then based on that what like locations I need what enemies will populate those locations that kind of stuff so I've uh, yeah, been doing some art stuff I want to get very basic dungeon layouts going to get like a storyless progression of it and then just try and make it look as nice as I can but think about also maintaining a level of niceness that I can scale throughout the whole project because I want it to be a very big game I have to be careful that I don't get too carried away making small areas perfect part of that logic is why maybe downgrading this overworld right here is a step in the right direction rather than putting more art effort and just trying to make everything more complicated yeah who knows a lot of stuff to do I don't remember if I mentioned but you can see here despite all these being different classes I was like working out what the 8x8 like character sprites might look like in the overworld uh, if I go with this style that I'm trying out I likely won't have like all the thick black outlines using up most of the space like they are currently and they look alright getting the movement to look not strange in the overworld has been a challenge but it's not too important to get that perfect you know they're pretty small so you know changing them is not too much effort I'll just stick with this overworld for now and I'll just try and get some more stuff done probably more artsy stuff for the for a bit cool thanks guys I'll catch you two days boys <laughs>